Hi guys, Shelly from The Craft Room. Have another string art tutorial for you. I'm doing a wreath here, but this tutorial is good for the wreath, the ornament, or the Christmas tree. Um, it's gonna be the same instruction, just different shape. So, everybody has a string like this. You're gonna take the top off, you're gonna take the bottom off, and then you're gonna find the center of your string. And separate it like this, so it's like a circle. Find the end of your string and you're gonna tie the string, it's nothing fancy, just a regular old knot around any nail head. Once it's on there, give it a double knot. And I would recommend that you put your string on your wrist kind of like a bracelet. It does get knotted up easily. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to extend it as you go. All right, so let's hop in. There's no pattern with string art. It's up, down, side to side, across, diagonal, every which way until it's nice and full. Be careful, each um, piece of string is actually made up of like 10 little baby pieces of string so it can shred easily. A way to avoid shredding is just to make sure that you're placing the string all the way underneath the nail head so it's not kind of um, chopping it. So extend it as you go. And you're just gonna fill in. You might use each nail three, four, or five times. Like I said, no right or wrong way as long as you're filling it in nice and full. Extend. Is my four-year-old in the background? Just one second, Haley, okay? If you need to, you can push the string down if you feel like it's getting too full. If you could, you could just push it down a little bit and then keep stringing on top of it. Okay, so this isn't as full as I would normally go, but it's looking good for now. Um, I would encourage you to keep stringing until you have about um, two feet of string left here. Uh, actually, I'm going to have you come in close so you can see how to do the border. So once you're done filling it in, uh, you're going to do the border. And what that looks like is you're basically going to connect one nail to its next door neighbor nail. So you're going over, and I like to complete it by going back. It just gives it a nice finished edge. So over and back, over and back, over and back. And you're going to do this until you get around the whole thing. Again, this instruction is same for the Christmas tree or the ornament. Just go over and back, extend as you go. Hopefully it's not getting knotted up on you. And then for the wreath, you're actually gonna border the inside too. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna call this quits, but I would encourage you to use the string until it's gone. With string art, more is more. So what you're gonna do to tie it off is the same as when you tied it on. Nothing fancy, give it a loop there. Tie around whatever nail head you're closest to. And then using a pair of scissors, doesn't matter, I have little baby scissors, but whatever scissors you have, you're just gonna cut the ends off. Obviously not too close, because you don't wanna cut your knot. And there you have it. There is your string art. Thanks guys.